In this video, I am going to explain anatomy of tensor fascia lata. This muscle is on anterior part of pelvis and hip. This is slightly smaller muscle compared to other big hip muscles, but this muscle is important to move hip and pelvis. And this myofascial connection is important for knee pain, okay? I am going to explain its origin and insertion first. Origin is this part. It is on anterior part of pelvis. This part, the tip of pelvis is anterior superior iliac spine, which is ASIS. Okay, this tip, bony tip, ASIS, anterior superior iliac spine. And it originates from iliac crest. Iliac crest, okay? This area. Insertion is this part, this white bundle of tissue. This is iliotibial band or iliotibial tract. Sometimes this iliotibial band is called IT band, okay? So, tensor fascia lata attaches on IT band. It does not insert to bony structure. It originates from bony structure, but it inserts to connective tissue, okay? Tensor fascia lata originates from ASIS, iliac spine and it inserts to iliotibial band. Now, let me explain its function. Okay, function of tensor fascia lata. When this muscle contracts, that brings femur this way. What kind of movement can it make? It is hip flexion. This way, okay? And it can also do this kind of rotational movement, this is internal rotation. Internal rotation. Flexion and internal rotation. Tensor fascia lata is on anterior part, but it is slightly on lateral part of pelvis. This is not the pure anterior muscle such as quadriceps, okay? It's on lateral part, a little bit. So when this muscle contracts, that brings femur to lateral way. What is it? This is abduction. Abduction of hip joint. Not very strongly, but it can do abduction. Flexion, internal rotation, and abduction. This is hip movement, right? But tensor fascia lata originates from pelvis. So when this muscle contracts this way, that can move pelvis kind of this direction. What is it? It is anterior tilt. Anterior tilt of pelvis. So this muscle can move hip and pelvis, okay? This is small muscle compared to other muscle, but it can do so many things. Now, let me explain myofascial connection. Okay, this is tensor fascia lata. Remember, this muscle attaches to iliotibial band. If you follow this connection, IT band inserts to tibia lateral part of tibia okay again tensor fascia lata it band to the tibia so when this muscle is working too much for long time chronically that can create tension for it band 
this myofascial connection can go to tibia. This is lateral part of knee. So when people jog, when people do marathon, when people do football, soccer, long distance, endurance sports, their tensor fascia latte is sometimes very, very tight. This tightness can create tightness of IT band. This tightness can create inflammation or tightness for tibia. Thus, tightness of tensor fascia latte can create pain or tightness on lateral part of tibia. This is very common when people do long endurance sports, such as marathon. So it is good to treat tensor fascia lata and IT band for endurance arthrite. Okay, this is very, very important myofascial connection. In this video, I explained basic anatomy of tensor fascia lata, its origin, insertion, function, and myofascial connection. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.